Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Ladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Perk from Zentangle. Now, this is a neat tangle where, so imagine for a moment you, you're doing your string and you end up with uh, something that looks like that. And you think, oh, well, there's lots of things that, of course, that you could put in there. But this tangle uh, seems to be designed uh, to fit very, very well into an orb type shape. So this one starts off with some uh, backwards S shapes, elongated. And if you just want to watch, so this one, what we're going to do is I'm going to hook over here. I'm going to hook on the one side. And then I'm drawing a line, so the elongated S, and I'm trying to, to also make a little bit of a slope, like so. And then uh, we're going to repeat it, but in aura this just a little bit, um, uh, like there. Okay, this is this is one of those strokes that I I keep working at. All right, and the idea is you want to have a slope. Um, so, and actually, I'm finding you know having the having the tile angled nicely has been helping. All right, so let's do it again. Let's see if we do that one a little bit better. Um, and know too that you're going to be putting orbs into in between these, so you don't want to have it too tight. And then we're also going to put big orbs in between these sections. So these ones are going to be a little bit bigger. And sometimes I'll tell you what, it just works to not think about it sometimes and just go. But, and I, I also find that if I'm in this stroke for this tangle, actually there's, um, what is it, Aqua, Aqua Fleur is another tangle. It says by Zentangle also. I have not done a video on that one yet. Um, it has the same type of, of stroke where we're kind of hooking around the outside of the string line and coming back. And let's see, do I want to put a last one? Okay, maybe not. All right, next step is in the center, we're going to put some, you know, what, we're going to put orbs, period. But just going down the center as a good start. Oops. And then working to either side. Now I'm doing pretty much full orbs. You could do something like, um, do I do it? Okay, I'll do it where you do like this and we're kind of working behind a little bit like so and then this one I could do that uh, this will be like a partial like that and then on the other side kind of the same thing but but opposite so it's almost like they're stacked a little bit so again like that or you know since I've started that I'll do it or you know orbs like this you know just butted right up next to each other but kind of since I started doing that I better do it and continue. You can also decide when you get to these little ends if you want to do a partial orb or just you know kind of like this so it's like well I'm just gonna make a kind of a squishy type of orb. And then just following the contour of you know whatever space that you have like so. Then we're going to fill in these little gaps. So this is a um, a nice technique. We use it in, I think I got a little gap right there, um, the tangle tipple. And there's also a tangle called anamato. And that both both tipple and anamato, I believe I have videos on. And anamato, anamato is sim similar to this in that um, you have, I call them rails on that one, because you have two sets of double lines just like, like this that, that we've created with these slopes. Um, but that one, you know, you, well, of course you can take it any, any direction that you want. And then we put big orbs in the center and then we put these little orbs in. Now for the longest time, I, I, and I'm not sure, well, actually I do know, because when I was looking at the uh, original step out, uh, some of the steps, it looks like there's little, or like here, so I would put a little little black pearl, we call them, you know, it's, a, it's an orb and you just fill it in. But a lot of times with that, and in an Anamato, we kind of will go over and into these orbs, um, which creates a different look. So I share that because it creates a different look. And if that's something that you might want to do, then feel free to do that. Um, and I, for this um, tangle, I had gotten in that habit, or I thought that that was the way it was done. 
Um, but I'm like, you know what? It's, it's different when you just fill in. It makes it um, flatter looking. And again, it's just, it's a different, different look. And, you know, that's where, that's up to your creativity. If you want to do something like that. And when we fill these things in like this, because um, actually we, we use this in a, the concept of, you know, filling in the gaps uh, in a number of different tangles besides the two I mentioned. Uh, there's Printomp, there is um, Poke Root, Poke Leaf, all of those where we will fill in the gaps because it just makes things pop really neat. Okay, oops, and I got a little bit of space right here. All right, so once you're done with that, then... We're going to add the little orbs. Now, I do like to start in the middle, kind of like we did with these. Start in the middle and work your way to either side. And I guess, too, so I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to just, wherever I have those little hooks, I'm going to take these uh, orbs, um, you know, kind of somewhat out to the end. Oh, no, then here, look at what I do. I start right at the end, and it doesn't matter. Sometimes I like to do start in the middle because that way, working to either end... It just um, it has a little bit different look sometimes doing that, and then um, well sometimes then I'll end up with like a, a partial whatever on on either side, and so then it just it looks a little bit um, I don't know natural is what I want to say, but it's probably not right. I just like doing it. All right, so there we have it. Now for some shading, there's of course numbers of ways to shade it, but one one thing I like to do, and actually since I did this where I uh, you know, have this center orb. I'm just gonna let me do these sides here, and I'm just I'm just putting a little, kind of like a little curve line shape to the right side of these, and on the ones outside of that center orb, I'm gonna leave the center orb right for now. I'm gonna just leave it with nothing, again, just for now. Oops, missed that one. And then let's. Smoosh that out a little bit. I made this kind of small, so I just have to be a little bit careful. And I also went kind of light, while also knowing I see how much I have on my tortillon that's going to rub off. All right, and so then I think, and what I'm going to do in these ones, I'm going to I'm going to put a little bit of graphite all the way around the outside. You know, then I'm going around. I don't, I don't want to. You don't want to have the whole thing be dark, but just having a little bit of contrast uh, does help. You know, now I, and all of a sudden I'm thinking, gosh, I could have gone the opposite with. Um, with the shading, because th then then I would be kind of darkening where a um, where a shadow might be, and even though in Zentangle we're not, you know, uh, necessarily we don't worry about light source and all of that kind of thing too much, but but sometimes it, it is it is fun to play and see how you can create different effects by shading things a little bit differently, and so there we have it. That is perk. So if you enjoyed the video, would love to have a thumbs up. Uh, if you are not subscribed yet and uh, you like this well enough that you might want to see more, I would uh, love to have you subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the subscribe button and then also hit the notification bell next to it so you can decide how you want to be notified if you want to be notified at all. And uh, in the description section, I will have uh, links to my step out and any other information uh, that I think might be helpful for you, uh, as well as ways to connect with me. Um, I do online classes once a week uh, for free, and I do have a new uh, Tangle Addicts Club, which is a, a membership club. Uh, there's information about that on my website, tangleaddicts.com. So I would love to have you check it out if you so desire. And with that, I wish you happy tangling.